Hi guys! Okay, so, like I promised after I already uploaded my um, Makeup 2013 purge that I did in December where I cleaned out all of my makeup, got rid of the stuff I don't use, threw away old stuff, um, which I will link somewhere in this area if you haven't watched it already because this is something new that I'm going to do this year because I am subscribed to Pink So Foxy here on YouTube and I thought she had a really great idea and um, I feel like I'm kind of in a current similar situation and it really seemed to work out well for her So this past year so I'm going to try to do it as well but basically it's not like um, a no buy or anything like I still can buy makeup throughout the year. So it's not like I'm not allowed to buy any makeup this year. Um, God, that would be way too hard. I can't do that. But over the past um, year or two since I started doing YouTube and I've gotten really into it, um, my love for makeup has grown um, in doing it and filming stuff for you guys. My makeup collection has grown huge. I went from like the little clear like um, three drawer um, storage things to the five drawer ones to now I currently have an Alex 9 drawer which is like what every makeup person here on YouTube has and it's crazy like I don't do makeup for a living um, I'm not a makeup artist the makeup I have is strictly for myself um, if my friend asked me to do her makeup yeah I'll do her makeup for her I have enough of it but my career is not in makeup so for a normal person to see my collection, they would think I'm a little crazy, but I love makeup and playing with it, but after cleaning out my storage unit, taking inventory of everything I have, it really, if you do that, and you, if you're a person who has a crap ton of makeup, and you seriously, at the end of the year, take inventory of everything you have, it might surprise you, like, after counting everything I have, like, I can't believe it. Like, it seriously hit me that, you know, I need to get my makeup buying under control. Um, of course, there are always going to be products that I want, I want to try. Um, so, what I'm going to do with that is if I see a product that I want or I want to try, I'm just going to start making a list and write down all that stuff and maybe, like, I can get one or two of those products a month, but that's it. Um, I'm also, I'm not going to have like a certain amount of products that I'm allowed to get throughout the year, or I'm only allowed to spend this much money throughout the year. Like, I'm not going to do that. I just need to stop getting the urge of every time I get paid to go out and buy a lot of makeup. Because I would say I probably buy maybe five to ten products with my paycheck and I get two paychecks a month um so that is what I want to cut back on and I really think helping like doing this inventory thing has really helped so I wrote down on a piece of paper the rules that I'm going to follow for my new year's resolution and there are Three things that aren't included in, like, me not buying as much makeup. So, the first thing is, if I get gift cards or gifts of makeup, those aren't included. Um, because it's not my money. So, that doesn't count. Um, Ipsy bag is $10 a month. I'm not going to include that because it's ten dollars a month and you get five samples or full-size products so I'm not gonna include that because I don't know I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna include that ten bucks on five products that's fine um, I can handle that a month <laughs> um, or a necessity purchase so if I run out of foundation or concealer or something like that that is okay for me to repurchase like if it's like a holy grail product that I use on a daily basis 
then those are okay products for me to repurchase. If I decide that I do want to go out and buy makeup at all, which I have actually gotten better at doing this already, is asking myself, do I really need this and do I already have something like it? Which I have gone to the drugstores lately and I have noticed myself getting so much better at being able to look at a product and be like, I already have a similar product like this. Or, yeah, I'd like to try it, but I really don't need it because I have all these other products that I need to use already. Um, unless it's a product that is like, I don't have anything like it, then I can justify getting it. If it's something I don't have anything like, um, I have gotten better at doing that already. Um, I just want to keep on doing that. Um, another thing is on the days I don't work, I want to, I'm not going to use any Holy Grail products or products that I use on a daily basis. I am only going to use products that I hardly ever reach for. Um, that way I can start using them up. So like today I am off of work. So this whole makeup look is of products that I don't really ever reach for. Um, I'm not wearing any Holy Grail products that I rave about and love. Um, this is mainly drugstore stuff, I think, that I'm wearing today. I might have one or two high-end things on, but, um, yeah, just so I can reach for the products that I really don't tend to reach for a lot, um, on my days off, that is my new rule. Um, and then... What I plan to do is do an update video on this every month for you guys. So towards the end of the month, what I'll do is I'll tell you um, how it's been going, have I gone out and got any makeup, and if I have got any makeup, what I'll do is I'll show you the products that I did purchase um, and how much they cost. So then every month I will have a totaled list of the number of products and the amount of money. Um, which we're already in January and I haven't bought anything yet. Then again, I haven't got paid yet. So that's going to be the true test. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is my plan for you guys um, to do this year. And it's only going to be for this year. I mean, I'm not going to do this type thing yearly or anything. Um, but I think it'd be a fun thing to share with you guys and take you along on my journey. But what I'm going to do is obviously, like you saw in my, one of my previous videos, I took inventory of all the makeup I have, um, went through all the drawers. So I wrote down in categories, the amount I have of products per category and then I also did my ideal makeup collection so I wrote down everything and how much of the product I would like to have um, so I am going to go down the list tell you what the category is how many I currently have and how many I would like to have so the first thing is primers so for face primers I currently have seven I would like to get that down to three because I have like three holy grail primers that I really like. Eye primers, I have eight. <laughs> um, I'd like to get that down to at least two, mainly because I really don't use eyelid primers. I just use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but I would like to keep my um, Too Faced Glitter Glue and um, just another um eyelid primer in case I do decide to use eyelid primer. Um, brow products. I currently have 10. Um, I counted the amount that I really technically need to do my eyebrows and I really only need four products. So, um, that one should be kind of easy to use up, um, as well as like the face primers and stuff. Um, foundation. I currently have 10 foundations. Now, obviously, this is like, I have my colors for fall and winter and my colors for spring and summer. So, um, I probably have about five foundations per year, like 
season, you know what I mean? Um, I would like to have it down to four. Um, two for fall and winter, two for spring and summer. For BB creams, I currently have four. I would like to get that down to two, maybe only one. Concealer. Okay, I'm a concealer junkie, apparently. I have 18 different concealers. Um, I would like to get that down to four. Um, mainly because I'll always have my MAC Pro Longwear. I like my, Nat my NYX HT concealer. But then I also would like um, some more like creamy concealers. Um, for like if I have a blemish or anything to cover up. So that's concealers. Highlighters. I have 21 highlighters. Oh my god, like, I love highlighter, obviously. Um, I would like to get that down to five highlighters. Um, I definitely have, like, two or three that I'm in love with. So, if I can get that number down, that'd be great. Setting powders, I have seven different setting powders. When in reality, I probably only need two. Blush. Oh my god. <laughs> These numbers, I seriously, if you are like have a crap ton of makeup do this because you won't believe the numbers after you count it because in a drawer it doesn't look like that much but when you actually count every individual product like holy crap okay so for blush i have 63 blushes that's really sad i have a problem i'm not gonna lie about this i'd like to get that down to like 30 um from the 63 bronzers i have 12 I would like to get that down to three. Um, my Benefit, a more shimmery type bronzer, and then a cream bronzer. So eyeshadow bases. This is like my Maybelline color tattoos, my NYX eye pencils, like those type things. I have 70. Oh my god. Okay. I would like to get that down to like 40. So shimmer glosses and glitter like cream overlay type products i have 13 i would like to get that down to six loose glitter and pigments i have 56 um that's like nyx ones makeup geek um ones that i've gotten from ipsy bags um yeah crazy i would like to get that down to 25 for palettes i have 47 palettes this is including any type of z palette that i have um of like depotted type products i would like to get those palettes down to at least 30 i feel like that's more of a realistic number that i could maybe work towards um eyeshadow quads trios and duos so, like, Wet n' Wild, Elf, mainly, like, drugstore type things. I have 54. Um, I'd like to get that down to 30. Single eyeshadows that I can't depot are, I have 12 of those. So, I'd like to get that down to 6, which is half the amount, luckily. Um, mascara, I really like mascara, and I have way too many and yeah i have 20 mascaras when i probably only need six so yeah liquid and glitter liners i have 23 i probably only need 10 gel eyeliners i have two i really only need one and that's a black one um eyeliners like pencil crayon type liners i have 68 and I would like to get that down to 25. Um, lip balms. I have 29. I really like my lip balms. <laughs> I'd like to get that down to 10. Lip liners. I have 19. I'd like to get that down to 6. Um, I kind of just... 6 is the ideal number to where I have a liner for every type shade. Like red, nude pink, coral, like that kind of thing. 
lip balm stains and crayons. So like the Revlon balm stains matte glossy type things like those type things. Um, I have 35. I'd really like to get that down to 15. Okay, now these, the last two numbers are probably my most shameful numbers, but I have a serious lip product addiction. Um, I love me some lip products. So, you won't, like, I couldn't believe this number when I counted everything. It's really sad. Okay, so for lip glosses, I have 136 lip glosses. Crazy. Like, that's ridiculous. I'd like to get that down to, like, 50. Um, lipsticks aren't as bad, but still pretty shameful number. I have 94. And I'd like to get that down to 50. But, um, yeah, some of these products are products that I received, like, in Ipsy bags throughout the year. So they do but don't count in a way. Um, also, this is stuff that I've collected over... The years it's not just the stuff that I bought this past year or the year before um, this is like years of collecting makeup um, but I feel like doing this like showed me like holy crap I do not need to buy any more lip products right now I do not need to buy any concealers or any eyeshadow bases or any of that stuff like I need to use up what I have before I continue to buy more. So, yeah, that is what I have and what I would like to have. And these are numbers of after I cleaned it out. So, this wasn't the numbers before the purge. These are numbers after the purge. So, as you can tell, I have a makeup addiction and I'm not afraid to admit it. I have an issue, but hopefully I can correct that issue this year. So, that is my New Year's resolution, is to use up the products I have and not buy makeup that I really just don't need right now. So, yeah, that is my plan for this resolution. So, at the end of this month, maybe towards the beginning of February, I don't know, Hopefully, I'm going to be able to upload it at the end of this month. You'll see, um, like, how this month went. So far, so good. I haven't bought anything. But, yeah. I hope you guys are going to like this. I guess it's going to be a series because it's going to be every month. So, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. I'm going to take you along on my journey with me. Um... And, I don't know, maybe some of you guys have the same issue as me. Um, and you think it's a really good idea and you want to do the same thing. Um, or, I don't know, what is your New Year's resolution this year? Leave it down in the comments below. Um, but, yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.